I said, just don't say anything wild because we are live with episode 249. And Dave, little, let's get behind the scenes with people a little bit because this week we don't have anything set to talk about. We've done a couple big interviews. We have big interviews on the way, but this morning we are, we're talking with a guest coming up. Is he a WWE Hall of Famer? I don't believe so. No, he is not a Hall of Famer at this time. He's definitely a wrestling legend. We we yeah. we're gonna be Dave's gonna be talking to Jacques Rougeau today, and and it's one of those funny things where we're dealing with like an age gap. So I mean, we had it the other day with Tito Santana. I told somebody at work, they're like, "Oh, how's your day going?" And I'm like, "You know, I helped Tito Santana out with a computer problem," and they just looked at me and they're like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" And I'm like, "Nah, that's real life." Yeah. So it's. You get these things where people of different ages have those different technical abilities. And we're also dealing with a language barrier because I don't speak French. I can barely understand it. Dave, how good are you with French? I, I struggle with English, so I'm not, I'm not the guy to ask here. Arriba! But I am definitely looking. I'm looking forward to this. Now, I haven't quite. I'm, let me see. How far am I into the Tito Santana interview? And guys, we're going to be freewheeling today because before Dave and I were exceptionally tired, but I'm like a third of the way into the Tito interview. How did you enjoy talking to Tito? I enjoyed it. Jeez, I don't know where I'd rank it in terms of like all time interviews. I had a good time talking to him. I mean, early on, I just felt like Tito gives a lot of short answers, you know, like he doesn't necessarily give me a lot to bite on, but when you can kind of talk to him about what he wants to talk about and what he's comfortable talking about it. You can, you can dig it out of him. It just, it feels like he's got to get in the groove like we all do. So I enjoyed it once we got cooking, but you know, some people, they really struggle with that. And then some people are just, they're so good, right? You don't really have to do anything and they just take you on a journey and you just listen and you just, sprinkle your own little stuff on when you can yeah i would tito i just felt like it took us a few minutes to warm up but once we got there i felt it was pretty good and that's kind of what it is we've seen it with different interviews that we've done we have one unaired interview that was <laughs> that was definitely <laughs> we were working at that one but as you get to talk to the person you're talking to you kind of find what you're dealing with you go in with questions and you hope that you're able to get something out of the questions but sometimes you have to deviate from the script and see what they enjoy. Sometimes it's just getting them talking about something they like, and then it's easier to get it out of them a little more. Yeah, absolutely. Now we Some people make great dance partners, right? And there's that chemistry right away. And then some people, you got to work at it a little bit. And then some people, you're like, nope. This is not for me. I made a mistake. I got to get out of here. Now, after what you learned from the Tito interview, what are your what are your expectations going into the Jacques Rougeau one today? And Jacques Rougeau is not going to air. Hold on. Let me get the book out because we are booked up with interviews through early June, which is kind of wild. Remember when we struggled to get interviews and now we have interviews for months? So Jacques Rougeau is going to air on June 11th. So that will be uh, a couple weeks after Missy Hyatt was scheduled to interview, too. And name oh, drop. man, let's, let's get into it. So <laughs> Bull Buchanan came out this Tuesday. Yep. Tito Santana <laughs> next Tuesday. Yeah. A week from today, the man <laughs> called Dave is going to be interviewing Missy Hyatt. This is one of the interviews I'm most excited for, not only because it's Missy Hyatt and enough said right there. But you've also got this woman that was, he knew so many influential names in the game. Mm. He's been there at so many different parts of, like, parts in history. What's your expectation for that interview going in? I don't know. We'll see. I think there's a lot to talk about. So that's always good because she has been involved in so many different territories. And then also she's got other stuff going on now, too, where she's, got like her own little uh, reenactment with uh, civil war history. Right. And she just graduated from like barber school. Right. So she's got all these different things she's up to and she's got this great past wrestling. So I feel like with Missy that there's so much to talk about. So yeah. Missy Hyatt, we're starting the summer off hot Memorial day. Missy Hyatt comes out summer the Missy. next day, just because it's our regular interview day. 
New Heights Wrestling Women's Champion Emily Locke. It's the ladies week. I'm ex- yeah, and I'm excited for any of the interviews we get. You know, obviously, Tito Santana was a big one. Bull Buchanan was interesting. Uh, Missy Hyatt is Missy Hyatt, but New Heights Wrestling Women's Champion. When we've done these interviews, luckily, our producer at New Heights Wrestling has enjoyed the way these interviews have come out. And I personally like it, Dave, because it it gives us another layer to call this person's matches, you know, gives you another something to mention, which I, I enjoy. It kind of, it makes commentary feel a little easier when you've talked to these people, when you know a little more about them. Yeah, absolutely. I think the more we've gotten to know them over the years, just through their matches and stuff, you know, they have a roster that they're lucky to keep coming back and they got a lot of regulars there. And so it's easier for us. It makes our job a little, not only easier, but it's more entertaining. These interviews have been uh, fun. I like interviewing the talent from New Heights Wrestling. Hopefully that comes off for the uh, listeners. 